So here in Mazatlan, just met a guy up here who was going to do some cliff diving, and it's crazy. Uh, I don't know how high. he said he was diving into like five feet of water from hundreds of feet up. So he wasn't doing it yet, so I didn't get to see it. But um, really beautiful here in Mazatlan. About to walk over to El Faro, the highest lookout point in Mazatlan, top of the mountain, and it's kind of a long hike over there. Check it out. Well, I made it to the top of El Faro, 336 steps, lots of walking in the hot sun, Whew. got water, but here's all of Mazatlan below me. Over here behind me is the Isla de Piedras, island of a rock. It's like a tourist attraction, but I don't really completely understand why. It doesn't look that exciting to me. So that's facing east towards mainland Mexico. Let's look out west over the Pacific. All right, great hike up to the top of El Faro, all of Mazatlan below me. It's the highest point in Mazatlan. And uh, as I was saying, to the east, actually directly, um, I'm sorry, west, directly west would be uh, Baja California. And the Pacific Ocean is a little bit kind of west, southwest of this. So looking directly west, you can't see it, but in the distance would be Baja California. And then going up the coast here would take you into the Sea of Cortez. So. I was thinking there's probably whales here. When I was in Sayulita, I saw whales out in the ocean. I know a lot of whales migrate here to the Sea of Cortez, um, big for turtles, whales, whale sharks, all kinds of mammals and fish. But um, yeah, so directly west should be Baja California. It's interesting, I'm really kind of finding myself falling in love with Mazatlan again. It, you know, when I first got here, it was really touristy and I didn't know if I liked it, but I learned that the architecture is over 400 years old, so, and it's so beautifully colored and the buildings are just all so brilliant and interesting that, yeah, I'm finding myself really liking Mazatlan a lot. And there's tons and tons of great restaurants and cafes and bars and, galleries and it's really a cool city. I definitely really like Mazatlan a lot. So adios from El Faro. Quite a hike up here and uh, see you in the next place. <laughs> adios. All right, 8 a.m. pulling out of Mazatlan. It's been a nice uh, kind of relaxing thinking time in Mazatlan, reconnecting with this beautiful city, heading to La Ciudad, top of the mountains, 3,000 meters of elevation, should be about a four or five hour ride. And uh, yeah, if you saw my last video, you know I'm thinking about a lot of changes. It's 8 a.m. and it, I'm already boiling hot in full Gore-Tex gear. So, you know, this type of travel is just really, really, it's amazing and fun, but it's really, really restrictive at the same time. So I uh, got on like 20 or 30 pounds of gear and heading out of here. Got to go get some gas. Let's do it.
goodbye to Mazatlan.
entering La Ciudad. Amigo. Hola, buen día. Uh, ¿Tienes uh, disponibilidad? Sí. Sí. Solo una, solo una noche. Ok. ¿A qué precio? Le salen 1200 la noche. Ok. Bueno. Um, a, a, ¿Ahora es posible entrar? Sí, se puede entrar ya. Ok. Bueno. Gracias. I'm back in my same cabana in La Ciudad. The same exact one I stayed in before. I've got the fire going. I think I'm going to walk up to the Tienda store and get some more uh, water. And uh, there's a little restaurant across the street from it uh, that has like hamburgers and stuff, hamburguesas. So I think I'm going to get an hamburguesa for takeout. And as they say in Mexico and Spanish, it's para llevar. So I think I'll get a hamburguesa para llevar and maybe a cold beer to go with that and settle in for an early night. Man, it was absolutely outstanding to ride the Devil's Spine again. I think the views in this direction from the south, or from the west, I should say, were much more dramatic. And gosh, my motorcycle riding was so much more confident and it was really, really fun to ride through the Devil's Spine again. I'm excited for another day tomorrow, heading to Durango tomorrow, but gosh, man, that was just a fantastic day. And, and the weather is so beautiful being up in the mountains. The air is cool. It was an absolutely perfect day. It's absolutely gorgeous now, but I think it gets down to like 40 tonight. So, you know, it's, it's not warm here. It's still quite cool. So I debated about whether to make the fire, but, uh, mi amigo is here, Kevin. So if you saw my previous video, my little buddy, Kevin just came over and made the fire for me. Um, super nice of him. And, uh, yeah, Excited to go back to Durango, too, um, the scene where I got robbed, if you saw that video. Um, I might stay two nights. I'd like to find that little street restaurant I went to there again and walk around Durango some more. I really enjoyed walking around Durango. Maybe need to do a little bit of work. So maybe two nights in Durango and then back to uh, Paral, Chihuahua. So, yeah, let's go walk up to the tienda, get an hamburguesa. Let's do it. It's sunset time here in La Ciudad at Mexico Park. Some pretty colors, check it out.
All right, walking up to the tienda and the restaurante for a little hamburguesa. As I said, and as you may remember, if you didn't watch my previous video here, you could check it out and see some more of uh, Mejiquillo Park. It's really cool and beautiful with all the crazy rocks and the waterfall and everything, but here's the big welcome sign to uh, Mejiquillo Park. It says, Bienvenidos, welcome to Mejiquillo Park. I'm here at my little hamburger place. I think it's ready to take out. Let's go check it out. Hola. Quieres decir hola a la gente de Estados Unidos? En español, hola. Okay, here picking up my hamburger and excited for a tasty treat. Back home in the cabana and got a nice tasty looking hamburger. It's very common here that they put a slice of ham on it. Kind of cool. It's got ham, pineapple, avocado, lettuce, tomato. Looking pretty tasty. Nice modelo to go with it, so buen provecho, and going to get ready to go to bed early, be up early, and get into Durango by probably before noon tomorrow, so that's cool. Adios from La Ciudad in Mejiquillo Park in the top of the mountains, almost 3,000 meters of elevation here, getting chilly out, so thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Adiós. <laughs>